go. Okay, and anytime. Anytime. <clears throat> Cancer, an evil disease that spreads destructively. About 10.9 million people get diagnosed with cancer every year. Unfortunately, I was one of those million. Good morning, guys. My name is Kyle Jackham, and today I will be talking about the horrifying disease called cancer. I will be talking about the different types, the different stages, the different treatments, options, and their side effects. <coughs> um, first, I will tell you guys a little bit of a personal example um, with my uh, experience with cancer. I was diagnosed in 2010 with T-cell lymphoma cancer, um, and I just became a survivor th this past summer in 2012. Next. I will talk about the different types of cancer, the different colors, basically, of the wristbands. Um, there is many different types, there's hundreds, and the most common, according to uh, cancer.gov, um, there's leukemia, breast, lung, uh, leukemia, oh, um, uh, uh, testicular, uh, lymphoma, colon, prostate, and then um, next, I'll talk about the different stages. Um, there's stage one, which is small localized, where it is in one spot of your body. Um, stage, in, stage two and stage three are where the tumor starts growing and where it spreads. Um, and then stage four is when it starts spreading to the entire, basically to the entire body and to other <coughs> organs like the lungs, the heart, and stuff. Um, I was actually diagnosed with stage um, three and almost in stage four. Um, I have an example. Think of this as an orange. I couldn't get an orange. But this was the size of my tumor, and it was right next to my heart. Yes. And then it kind of spread to my, under my armpits, my neck, and all of my chest area. Next, I'll be talking about the different treatments. Everybody knows this is the most common, chemotherapy and radiation. Um, there are different types of chemotherapy. There's the oral, where it's the pills. Then there is like um, intravenous, where it's in your arm or even in your hand. But for me, I had the port, which is this little guy, and it's placed right here. So when the doctor comes in to give you the chemotherapy, he would put it, like stick you, it would be under the skin, and he would stick you with the needle, and then they would just do it, and this was connected all the way to my heart. All right? And then radiation, oh, shots. Shots were um, basically just in your arm, and then surgical where you would be under anesthesia and you would get it in the back or anywhere that they could put it when you couldn't get it when you were basically um, awake. Then there's radiation. Um, it hits specific um, points. And then this was, they would have to do a radiation mask where they would put it over their, think of it as um, paper mache in our class. They would put it over your, over your face or even over any type of body. They would fold it or mold it and then they would put these little dots where they would hit it specifically at each time. So it would be like this. All right? The side effects. We got nausea, fatigue, loss of appetite, nerve damage is when you would, le when you would lose your um, nerves, like your reflexes and stuff, um, infections, hair loss, all of that good stuff. <laughs> um, think, of, think of the cycle of side effects as a roller coaster. Has everybody been on Nitro yes. at Six Flags? Yes. When you guys are going up and you're like, oh, waiting for that big drop. That's when the side effects start kicking in. Like when you, the big drop, you least expect it, that's when basically all the side effects hit at once. Then. You know the very end of nitro, where it goes like this. 
That's basically how the chemotherapy side effects, like how the whole entire cycle is. You go up, down, up, down, up, down. It will be a never ending cycle until you're obviously off chemotherapy. And finally, according to a couple websites, uh, cancer.org, cancer.gov, cancer.net, um, I want to ask everybody in the class to participate. Which ones are a fact, which one's a myth, and only one is neither. So, for the first one, people dying from cancer has decreased. Fact or myth or neither? It's actually a fact. Yeah, um, decreased because there are more, ever since 1998, um, there are more um, cures out there, and, but I'm not saying that you can't die from cancer. Uh, electronic devices can cause cancer. Fact, myth, or um, neither. Neither. They didn't prove it yet, so basically that's it. Uh, cancer cure for, uh, hidden from public. I think that's true. Myth. It's a myth. <laughs> Tandy boots can cause cancer. <coughs> Fact. <laughs> and is con cancer contagious? Myth. Yes. Myth. Um, today you guys learned about the different types, the general stages, um, side effects, and the treatments. And you guys learned some things about facts and myths of cancer. Um, cancer and evil disease that spreads destructively but can be eventually destroyed.